little bit of a push. Boy. <laughs> yeah. Before we start this video, we want to say a big thank you to Bridgestone India. Bridgestone has been one of the biggest tyre manufacturers in the world and they've had their hands in almost all types of motorsport. Everything from Formula 1 to Pikes Peak Hill Climb Racers. We are proud to say that Bridgestone India has been a keen sponsor in this year's Valley Run project that we're doing. They have given us amazing back-end support but apart from the back-end support, they create some amazing tyres. We highly recommend their B series of tyres if you're looking for something like a reasonably priced tyre but it's also very durable and has good amounts of grip. And if you're a car enthusiast, we highly recommend you to check out the Turanza and Potenza lineup of tyres which are proper proper enthusiast tyres. So if you're looking for some new tyres, do check out Bristol India. Hey guys, welcome to the Drivers Hub and welcome to another episode of Road to Valley Run. Today we are going to be doing the part 2 for our Verna and uh, sorry, I uh, forgot to film the fitment of the downpipe but we have our downpipe fixed and we have a problem. There is a leak in the downpipe so we are going to be taking it off and seeing what we can do with it. So unfortunately, while we weren't in town, the Verna got a new downpipe as well as a new performance muffler. We unfortunately couldn't film the remapping process of the Verna as well. In the first video of the Verna, we took out the ECU to read and get a backup of the original file. So more or less, to get a remap on the car, the same process is applicable. The downpipe that was fitted to the car was made by our mate Amir from IES Performance. And the issue that we have over here right now is, there is a tiny leak near the gasket area which can happen at times since that particular area gets so hot. So the boys disconnected the downpipe to remove the gasket and fix the leak. So we have just fit the uh, downpipe back again correctly with no leakage and that is because we found the problem. It was a gas leak in the gasket. So what we did was hammer the gasket little 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 so that it's completely flush with uh, the downpipe and the exhaust manifold so that uh, there is no space and no gas leaking and because it's not gonna happen just with a physical gasket we needed to use this. This is an exhaust system fitting paste that solidifies and shuts off and completely blocks out the gas passage so that there is no leakage. Okay, so this is the stock downpipe. I don't know if you can see me struggling but this is like a good 8 to 10 kgs and our uh, other downpipe is significantly lighter than that. So we are going to be shedding quite a lot of weight, not only at the downpipe side, also at the end. We have removed the stock end can and taken this out this is the stock end can and put a race muffler in it so that it is essentially uh, could call it a straight pipe but it has a muffler but uh, we've removed this and put something much smaller and much lighter so weight reduction check the next day So I've gotten the keys to the Verna right after we've uh, uploaded the stage 2 remap and uh, first impressions is quite noticeable. It has around 150, Newton, uh, 150 bhp uh, now in the stage 2 remap and uh, well we have, we have not uh, measured the amount of torque that we have but it is well upwards of 300 easily. Uh, we are just taking a little U-turn. And we're gonna do a little bit of a push. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> yeah. Okay. So it's really <laughs> aggressive, but it's really nice. I love the amount of surge that it has in the lower gears, and uh, I think this is going to have quite a sick launch. Thankfully, we have a pair of Bridgestone tires, a set of Bridgestone tires on this car, so we are expecting this to be Bro. nice. <laughs> we are expecting this to be very, very competitive. Hopefully, it is because we have worked quite hard at uh, doing something so nice. Oh, AC just started working. No, that that was my knee. <laughs> that was your knee. Yeah, sick car, good push, lot of lot of punch out of the engine, and I'm quite happy with this. This is quite a sick build, bro, and it sounds so nice. After so much work, our stage 2 car is done. Our Verna is complete. We have completed the build with 150 bhp and over 300 newton meters of torque. Now it's time to show what it's made of at the strip. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.